what he makes you with. This is all the Ava Puhi. If you're familiar with that Ava Puhi, okay, can anybody tell me where he makes the shampoo? Yeah. Yeah. Figure that one out. Yeah, because you carry it in there and then you get to pay it, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, over here you don't have to pay it, it's right here. Okay? So, you have uh, about eight varieties like this, all the different varieties of alcohol. Mm -hmm. And then you have the lobster claw, California. This is our show and tell. We show you what it's all about, tell you all about it. In our heart center, we keep it low line, we wrap it around. Okay, so when the flower blooms, okay, the flower only lasts a day. Okay, and if you don't pollinate it within the day, there's no vanilla bean. Okay, they're actually from Mexico, Argentina. They can't find the pollinator no more. Okay, so we've learned how to hand pollinate it with the bamboo screw. So once you pollinate it, then the uh, Seed pods come out of the middle of the flower. Okay, now you know why they're expensive. Okay. Mm -hmm. so. Are we talking about this? Yeah, the vine. Right the now. vine. Yeah, that's an orchid. Wow. Okay, and vanilla is an orchid. Mm -hmm. Not too much people know about that. I love vanilla. Very good. Those look like trees and monkeys will be climbing up in the hut. Jumping around with the seed. Yeah, so they're very Okay, check this out. See this? This is called a popcorn helloquin. Okay, look like popcorn. And normally when I have children, they tell me, sir, I'm sorry, it's not popcorn, it's Cheetos. <laughs> so I kind of change it around. The kids have different imagination. They call it Cheetos. Okay? Now there's a one that is kind of rare. If you look in the background, you see like roses? Yeah. That's called a toadstool heliconia. A different variety of heliconia. Toadstool, okay? Red one. There's more of the toadstool back here. Okay. And now, uh, right hand side, we have the yellow heliconia. Two. 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 Okay, right here to your left, we have this is called a chocolate for the cigar. The bottom here. They look like complete. Okay. Yeah, the brown cover. Okay? Yeah. But uh, this is a, I like this one over some of the uh, brown covers that we have. Okay? Yeah. And it's something uh, Montana. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Montana. Hey, look at this. What's this? Yeah. Right here, how big? Elephant ears. Yeah, I'll take elephant ears. <laughs> it's called taro. Taro? You know the cheryl? That they make poi, they make taro chips. Okay, this is the family of the taro. Okay, this one here is called api. It's spelled A P E pronounced it. Okay, okay there's 300 varieties of taro. They have the dry land and the wet land taro. The roots goes into the ground, they boil it, they mash it, they make poi. Anybody try it for? Yes, Not thank yet. you. It's an acquired taste, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Is it? <laughs> but tarot chips, they make tarot It's really chips. good for you, though. <laughs> yeah, they make tarot chips, too. Yeah. I love tarot chips. You like that one? Mm -hmm. Yeah, tarot. Yeah, they make tarot pies, pancakes. 
Now, the unique thing about this plant here, <laughs> now, if you look at the leaf, how big it is. Back in those days, we didn't have no pharmaceuticals. So they've learned how to study the plants and how to use it to the best they can. Uh, normally, in, uh, in the olden days, when a baby was sick and they were burning off with fever, they would cut the api plant, the leaf, wrap the baby in it. It draws out all the sickness in the baby. So, even though it's a taro plant, that's what it uses to it. Okay? This is a shell ginger that's finished blooming, so that's the sweet part of the shell. Okay, now I got it. <laughs> and here's a smaller version of the vanilla. I think so. Yeah. Oh, they're coming out. There yeah, they are. Yeah. <laughs> ah, they're coming out. Many of us love that smell like. So just to give you a brief history of who Robert was and what he became. His dad is actually Samuel Elton, which actually Samuel was a great farmer who liked to invest into a lot of things. Now during the time of the Civil War, Samuel heard the meat was going to be scarce. So he decided to go across the way for the house and purchase all of the hogs we didn't carry for like 20 pounds. And later on he found out the military needed meat and now sold it to the military for like 60 cents a pound. Like he made money tonight. His son Robert never knew what poverty was because of what he did start. His dad also started the first national bank there in Illinois, also known today as JP Morgan So JP, they're the first thing that he's got all the time. If they come here once a year, look over this garden, whatever stipulation you have to be about. So we're not the only it's just a ticket and trust me, I'm the trustees to us to maintain the only right. Now Robert also didn't want to become a farmer like his dad, he wanted to become an artist. Went to the finest art school in Europe. Now after studying art for four years, you know, you're an artist. Well, he thought that he wasn't an artist for what an artist should be. He felt depressed, wanted to commit suicide, took his paintings and burned them. Dad said, wait, son, there's 12,000 people here in the mall. All the houses there rented out. This is supply for the small <laughs> well, he happened to come here and look over the spot that he liked. Then he decided to purchase it. See, a man in fact was an artist right now. I want to become a mechanic, but everything I fix is great. I'm not a mechanic. Yeah, you can tell. Okay? I mentioned my name and I always said a point. Everybody told me to stand the book. Yeah, I'm a better guy doing the trick guy, right? Right, you see. Robert Elton, a man in fact was an artist for two This is his camera. Okay, so we're gonna let you some of the rooms tell you a little bit about this place here. Okay? Uh, remember I talked about the, the big rainstorm? Yeah. Just to give you an idea on how the water is. You see this tree right in the back here? The all the debris yeah. stuck on the street? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. So how the water. All this was underwater. Again, right here on your right, 80% of the earth is in the area is gone. The ones that are extinct is the ones on the trees, okay. Get on the okay. Yeah? How long does it go in there? Say that again? How long does it go in there? About two months ago. Two months ago? Wow. Remember that landslide you had on our motor? Yeah, on our bed right there. Wow. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Lonely Orchid. What about my returning here? I don't, re they didn't cover that the first time. <laughs> <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> yeah, they call it uh, hospitality and welcome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's go again. Okay, so this is called our Thanksgiving room. Now, I believe Robert named it the Thanksgiving room, being thankful to God that he didn't take his life. If he did, we would never see what he created today. This room was built back in 1955. Robert Elton liked water pictures, he liked statues, he liked the sound of water. So what does the sound of water do? Relax you. Relax you, right? I should have been in here and it's in retail, right? <laughs> nice place to come. You'll notice that none of our statues are clean in this garden. If you clean it, the will probably be so chuck. As an artist, you want to use see the patina. If it starts to go old, it just gets heated. This water here, we have two wells at pump six where we park the bus. We only use one. We pump the water to a big barrel on top of the hill. From there, it's gravity fed through here. There is no machine. Okay? Now, Robert Dalton, as you can see, the water. Now, uh, you can actually drink it. Okay? And the water goes into the pipe, underground, into the stream, out into the ocean. We do not recycle none of our waters. And people like California, they're dying for water here, we're dumping it out. Mm -hmm. Okay? So we do drain our pools once every two weeks. Because in less than two weeks, the moss builds up, mosquitoes start to hibernate. So if we didn't drain it, man, you probably would be standing here doing a Hawaiian mosquito slap down, right? <laughs> Slapping the hell out of this guy, right? You are right. <laughs> Hedges around here, it's called panics. Once you reach a certain height, we trim it. Also, one of the first hedges planted here in Hawaii, okay, for privacy and uh, border lines between homes. In the background, the tall palm trees, they're called Alexander palms. They can grow a height to about 80 to 90 feet. And as Robert is an artist, he wanted you to see the height of this room. As long as he was alive, no helicopters or planes could fly over the sky. The man of great influence. The reason why he didn't want no one to know his business, he took care of people of dignitaries and celebrities, like John Wayne, made one of his first movies down at his beach house back in the 1950s. Okay, Donovan Lee. Donovan Lee? Yeah, yeah Donovan Lee, remember that? Yeah. Remember that was the first film. Yeah, that was the first film, the yeah, the first film filmed here in Hawaii. Okay? And then Jackie Kennedy, anybody remember her? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Stayed at his guest house and you will see the guest house today. Okay? The outside there. Okay? So, uh, gazebo in the back of me, even that got destroyed. If you look at it, kind of destroyed. It's where he had his Thanksgiving dinner and music laid out with the search in this area. Okay, so you can go take a picture. I'm going to meet you right outside here and then we're going to get out and go to the garden. I was afraid again. Sure. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, I figured that. The side of people with shorts and Nick and top and a lot. Oops. I think you have a darn in our car. Huh? <laughs> That's all right. Get there. <laughs> no problem. Thank you. Very cool.
How long are you guys here for? We're almost done. We were here for 10 days, oh. but we're on the back side of it. Leaving on Sunday. And where are you guys from again? Oregon. Oregon. I know a lot of people coming in from Oregon, Texas, uh, Washington. We ran into a lot of people from Utah. Not too much uh, coming on the tour, but you know, I, I just looking at how many people come here from different places. Okay, guys. So right here, look at this ground covering. You guys are on the wrong side, guys. Come around. You cannot go that way. Okay, but this is Pato's. Okay, it's a ground covering that you can buy at Walmart and Home Depot. It's a small house plant. Yeah, you can see it, how they just covered this place. Yeah. So this is actually Robert Ellison's favorite ground cover. Yeah. Mr. Hideo, he had two Japanese gardeners, Mr. Hideo Toshima and Mr. Yamamoto. They hated it because they had to come back and trim it all the time. Mm -hmm. right? So, uh, Mr. Hideo had an uh, opportunity to plant this grass on our right side and further down, known as Mondo grass. Less maintenance, less work. So, he was a smart Japanese man. Can you hear the bird? It's a shama. Mm -hmm. Okay, so right here on your right, this is a man-made waterfall. We have bird nest plants, also known as an air plant or an apple plant. And then again, you see the big, large taro plant, ape, mondograph throughout the space, orchids up on the trees, staghorns, okay, cacti. In the back of you, right here, we, ha we had a bridge in 2006 that destroyed. I rain here for 40 days. Mm -hmm. This bridge has re been rebuilt three times. <laughs> After the third time, we learned not to build it again. Okay, because if we had the rainstorm a couple months ago, that bridge would have been gone again. So we never, we're not planning to build a bridge again. Right across the valley wall, we have about 130 varieties of palm trees, which Mr. Hidel loved and planted. Okay, and across there you'll see some stairs made out of rocks. That was all dirt steps. Then Mr. Hideo and Mr. Yamamoto, they were, good, uh, they were great stone cutters, cut the rocks and made steps. And if you follow it, it goes to your right and there's a tunnel. This is a tunnel that you see. Remember the tunnel that we came out? This is another tunnel, okay? This was built back in the 1900s, okay, for the trains to travel through Holland Sugar Cane. In 1943, they took away the tracks and then they had big green, traveling through here, tractor trailers. Okay? Now they still use it today to go between the coffee fields. White coffee is just right above us. One of the largest in the United States. 3,100 3, acres of land and over 4 million plants there. So if you go there, go early in the morning, you have four flavors. You can sample, sample as much as you like. That way you get all wired up and you can tour Kauai in one day. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, right here you have the popcorn uh, orchids, the yellow ones. Right there you have the upside down petal, bromeliad. Okay, pretty, huh? This tree in front of the back of me. Okay? I'm gonna give you a hint what it is. Okay? This is where all of the man goes. Yep, still at the subset? All of the what? This is where all of the man go. The mango tree. It's a mango tree. Mango yeah. tree. Oh. Okay. Yeah. It's a spray. Mango. Like I said, you gotta have an open mind. Yeah. There's no mango. Yeah, this actually was planted by Queen Emma. It's about a 145 year old mango tree. It still bears fruit. You see the flowers? Yeah. Okay, it'll turn to mangoes. Okay. It's a really good coming mango, and when it falls here on the grass, it cushions it. It doesn't break it, or if it falls down the road, it will splatter. Uh -huh. And normally the chickens, they know when mango season because they all be here eating mango. Yeah. Okay, so if you come here any time on a tour and there's mango season and you see all these mangoes, please don't touch it. Take the chicken, they're marinated, mango flavor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Take the chicken, leave the mango. Take the right? chicken, leave the mango, they already ah. marinated. Yeah. <laughs> and everybody goes, what? Yeah. <laughs> Take two chickens, huh? Yeah, but no, everybody come here and read the mangoes here. They're good. Okay? <laughs> so. Is it okay yeah. to get a yeah, yeah, yeah. Walk right there. Oh, okay. Go ahead and take a picture. So, you know what? I did that one time. I told everybody this is where all the men go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, what's the husband going? He does. My husband's dead. My 